Hey, I'm Scott with Dancer Concrete. I'm here to show how to do the uh, pressure washer. Uh, we use the pressure washer to clean equipment and vehicles. Uh, it's an easy way, but it's the right way to do what we, uh, the cleaning. Um, so first, when you come in, this is our pressure washer. It will not move. Uh, it stays here all the time. Uh, we have the pull around uh, hose for your pressure washer. Whenever you're using it, you will not pressure wash the building. It will be outside. You'll ring this around. We'll lock this into place. And then this will stay stationary. And you will pull out your hose to uh, whatever your desired length. Uh, a lot of the guys will pull it off full length because they are washing a car or equipment. They want to make sure they're doing it right. Um, and then your, uh, and your, hose, uh, your nozzle will be here. Uh, it will have already have the designated tip you'll need. Uh, everything we'll clean with will always be a 40 degree uh, tip. You really don't want to get into anything else because it's more aggressive and you will curb our equipment if you do so. Uh, unless either specified otherwise, you'll always use a 40 uh, degree tip. And it will always be on your nozzle. And when attaching this, you'll take this. You'll push uh, the sleeve down and put it in, and you want to hear that click. If you do not hear that click, you're not connected, and uh, it'll either blow out on you or it'll spray water all over you. Uh, once you do that, your water shutoff valve is right here. Um, level with the hose is off. You will turn it like this, and that will be on. This right here will be on, and then just to show that it will be on, you just want to press, press it, sprays water, you know you have power. And then to turn the pressure washer on, it's automatically, you will press this button here, it will light up, and then you will have pressure to run the pressure washer, um, and you will also hear it as well. automatically it'll turn it on and on itself it's just a safety feature on the system so it doesn't uh, overheat or bust itself uh, when you are done using this you'll turn it off you'll release the pressure from the hose and then you will shut the valve it will be level with the hose that means off again disconnect That's how it's done.